next year or ever. I want to thank you today, and we will struggle on. Who here knows about SB 590? Yeah. All right. SB 590 would make school teachers ask students and their parents for their immigration status. It would also obligate police officers to ask for documentation upon any traffic stop. Something our police department oh, has been trying to stop. It's dangerous to be outside simply because of violence. What crime was that? Fashion. Fashion. Police have actually. 
actually walked uh, vehicle traffic down 8th Street downtown. And there they go, they're taking her. Um, so, as you can see, 8th Street downtown Kansas City is blocked by police. And, If I could get over, I'll try to get over to that corner over there. The girl arrested. Um, where is she going? She's she's going to the, uh, what I assume is the Kansas City Jail right now. The police department. Um, I can cross over. Yeah. Just wait for the light. Uh, just wait, guys. No, my battery is about to die. Um, if it dies, I will be back up with another device, and there will be a short pause. Uh, she seems to be out. Yeah, absolutely. It seems like that to us. There was no warning. Let me repeat. There was no warning given. Um, they they just arrested her. Um, All she did was walk up to someone who asked for a flyer sorry. to hand what, them. What did she do? Someone who asked for a flyer. Someone who was on the bricks. So she walked over to hand them a flyer. But she walked on the bricks. They arrested her. Now, they're people sitting on the bricks right now. And because of that, they now won't let us even walk on the public sidewalk. There's so no somebody investigation. On the bricks, asked her for a flight. Then went to give them a flight. You can see over there. There's a flight. There's a flight. So, one, three, four, five, six. Seven cruisers in the party way. Peaceful, um, exercising our rights. They're on the sidewalk, exercising our rights. 
We weren't really going to rest or any actions or any, any, anything exciting until in front of AT&T. Three people, three people were arrested and then and just a fourth person was arrested like 20 minutes after that. Um, really that's what I have, the details of all of those. What did they do? Did the police or anybody tell you what they were arrested for? What was their crime? Um, I, I, I believe that the, uh, the, the security manager at at told them the they home. would be trespassing, and so I presume that it was uh, trespassing charges for all four of them. But I don't know. I didn't. I didn't hear. We need to stop Did you hear um, the? So I heard uh, a couple of warnings before they arrested the three, uh, the initial three. Did you hear any warnings um, before the fourth lady was arrested? No. Corporations are not people. Corporations like AT&T, supporters of Alec, who directly write our laws and turn them over to congressmen. This is not right. This is not okay. Things need to change in our country. Corporations should not have the right to directly write down what our laws are and then send them over to their senators and their congressmen. We're being lied to. We're being taken over by all these corporations. And it's time for it to stop.